everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 128K, and we're looking at a game reimagined. Yes, it's a classic from back in the day, looking a little bit different. It's Target Renegade Reimagined, published by or written by Rafael Misciaga, and you know, it's a mod of the original game. Uh, this one was from 2015, uh, based on the original by Imagine Software in 1988, which was the sequel to Renegade. Now, I think uh, Rafael uh, has put uh, different backgrounds in, but I think the um, gameplay is essentially the same, but we'll soon find out who Ward is on. So, before it seemed like we was on, whoa, getting run over by bikes here. Before it seemed like we was in a multi-story car park. Get up, you twit. Oh, no. Um, in a multi-story car park, I'm backward and forward on different levels. This time we're outside a gas station and um, getting run over every two seconds. Did these motorbikers um, turn up at the start of the first one? I can't quite remember. But the only problem, this game was a big classic back in the day, the original. The only problem with it, of course, I try and do a variety of moves like punch and kick, whereas the, uh, the move that uh, gets you anywhere is just the, uh, the flying kick each time, if indeed I do get off anywhere. Look, give me a chance, I need to just get up. Oh man, and I've died already, as that sign said. Is this going to risk me a video of me getting run over? Some people might like that kind of thing. Maybe, maybe it will go viral. So, Target Renegade, um... Uh, 20, uh, no, 1988, this is a mod in 2015, did have a sequel called Renegade 3, which is a little bit rubbish, we used to in hand-to-hand -hand, uh, fighting against dinosaurs, but as beat-em-ups go, this is pretty good, we've recently um, reviewed Target Renegade on the Commodore 64, which had better graphics, it has to be said, and maybe slightly better colour, but it just didn't play very well at all, but uh, there are some people that might have liked it back in the day, so um, I think it's been commented before, if we could have the um, the graphics of the Commodore 64 with a gameplay of the ZX Spectrum, it'd probably be a, a super duper one. Now, hopefully, I can get past this gas station. Oh, he's going to get up. So, we need to beat three of these. Well, we need to knock down the guy about three times. I think the uh, the chaps coming on back and forward are the same, are they, from my uh, knowledge? Right. So, you know, it can get into a bit of a grinding game, but if you're looking for beating ups on the ZX Spectrum, then uh, you can't go too far wrong uh, with this. But as I say, it plays the same as the original one, but with different graphics. It's like saying drink cola there. So my main interest really is seeing what graphics turn up. The other version, the original version, was a bit blue and yellow, I seem to believe. This has got lots of colour on it, and I think uh, Rafael Miyazaga is... Um, He's done quite a lot of um, these sort of like projects. I think Outrun Europe already coloured in. I think there's a coloured version as well of uh, the original Renegades. We might we might come to those in some time. I think there might be a couple of other ones he looked at as well. But essentially, beyond that, it's the the usual target Renegade. Again, like all beat 'em ups, I'm desperate for player two to be here to make it a little bit easier. At the moment, I've got about four people all crowded around me, which makes it a little bit uh, awkward going. But I'll see how far I can get, just so we can see a little bit of the graphics going on further. You'll notice that the time's ticking down in the middle. That goes down to zero. We uh, are out of lives. But I think you do get some credits to uh, continue. If you want to know where to download this mod uh, from, um, I downloaded it from a site called Spectrum Computing. If you type, type in Target Renegade, it should see, show you the original and on the list as well, the reimagined version too. Uh, first time I've seen this one, it's 2015, so getting on for about six years ago, so I suppose you can say that is pretty much retro now as well. If you're watching these as they go up, Wednesdays do tend to be um, retro homebrew day or uh, maybe a few mods. If you're liking the channel, because there's a lot of competition out there, it's hard to keep going sometimes. So if you're liking the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, as I say, there's a lot of people doing the same thing. It's very hard to get noticed, even after all this time. And new channels are springing up every day. But I'll keep sp I'll keep speaking the uh, the nonsense. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll have a bit of a laugh. Here we go. Right. Who, who would do? Who would attempt to do this as a living? Only a nincompoop. But hope I'm keeping you entertained. The channel's not about expert gameplay. It's all about ease and stress, really. I suffered from quite a lot myself every now and again, uh, more so in the past. But I can understand it going. So it's escaping to retro land for a couple of hours. And we've got a pretty good community here. When I say pretty good, I mean excellent. So if you want to join in, join that community, then you're more than welcome. Um, as you can tell by uh, my uh, sort of like a. Uh, sense of humour, the amount of people the pool I attract is a similar sense of humour and then all of a sudden you've got a dozen and then more people with the same sense of humour then we're all in big trouble. Hooray! It's not my fault. It is my fault. Well I suppose it is a bit my fault. Right, I've got this croquet mallet thing. Chop him. Chop him. Right, this makes it a little bit easier. Now I've managed to pick the thing up. We've all got the same legs. Can you see that? We're all wearing the same trousers. So the only shop 
in this place making money is the trousers seller or pants seller if you're in the USA let's call them pants if you want to walk down the street in your underpants then you need to be looking at street hassle which isn't as good as this game that's for sure no one's gonna do a, a mod of street hassle I don't think anytime soon it says drink cola back there doesn't say what type of cola so they're open they're open for sponsorship aren't they really they, they don't care where the sponsorships coming from they just say any old cola drink it big nose right is a beat-em-up now you can tell I'm occasionally going for punches when I think I can get away with it but um, normally I'm just going for uh, oh where's he going I tried to pick up that thing oh this is the bit where you normally get in the lift but there's no lift there so he just magics onto the next bit again there's another motorbike coming across so it looks like we're in a car park now no parking now which way do we go do we go back left this time like the original game or do we go right oh it's game over we didn't get we didn't get a choice there any credit? Oh no, it's game over. Oh god. Lolly, loot, dosh and bread and nicks there. I think I deserve one last go with that. See how far we can get. I'll just have the second bit. So if you love Target Renegade and um, you want uh, a bit more, a bit of different backgrounds, then this, uh, I can highly recommend this one because it's more the same, but a bit more interesting background really. And that's pretty much it. Bit more, bit more colour to the theme. It's Target Renegade Reimagined. So reimagine it. I haven't uh, tried to re reinvent the wheel or anything. The characters all look pretty much the same, move the same, got the same moves and stuff. It, it just looks a little bit prettier. Pretty. Right, um, the character you controlled um, on the uh, on the Commodore 64 version looks a little bit different like this, than this one. This guy looks a little bit maybe like Elvis or someone. Oh, uh -huh, thank you very much. He looks like one cool dude. Uh, I'm not sure what Player 2 looks like, probably more or less the same on the Spectrum version. If you completed this, uh, let me know, either the original or the uh, mod. Let me know what you think about it. Are you going to download this or you're not going to download it? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Or you could just, uh, you could just you don't have to comment, you can just watch it and think, ha ha, that's made my day, I'm off now, I, uh, as Mr Anonymous, or Mrs Anonymous even. That's okay too. Right, drink cola. Uh, it's not subliminal because it's saying it there. Characters are a bit see-through, but that's always going to happen on the ZX Spectrum, isn't it? You want to get see-through characters. That's just the way the system works. Take that, you. Take that, you. He's, he, he's cheating. They've got like a race helmet on. That's one of the guys that come off the uh, motorbike. Motorbiking, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Some people say this game is a bit samey. Well, I suppose it is if you keep doing the uh, the, the, the same move. But uh, as a kid, I sort of like enjoyed doing the same move. That's sort of like the same move got me all the way through Yee Ha Kung Fu. I just did a punch to the belly. But you know, um, if you try and do some exotic moves, you, 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 they might get lucky, but they're not as effective as, as this jump thing, which is much more advantageous than any other moves in the entire game. If you've done it just with punching, then congratulations. But what tends to happen is if you're punching, one guy comes round the other side, gets you, grabs your arms, and then you get duffed up. Come, let's try and scroll. We can't scroll the scenery yet until we've destroyed a number of these hoodlums. It's much better than that game we reviewed a few weeks ago called Subway Vigilante. If you haven't seen that, then have a look at it. Now, Subway Vigilante was obviously um, influenced by Target Renegade, but they got the pacing all wrong on it, and I think you have to hit down each man about four times before getting to the next one. It's all about uh, clearing the villains from the subway. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be reimagined. Well, it could do, I suppose. If they reimagine it, we only have to knock each person down two times, it suddenly might get a bit exciting. I prefer um, Target Renegade to the original Renegade. Some people it's the other way around, but they're, they're, they're both fighters. I'm like, trying to get the screen to scroll. Hey, there's a bloke coming out of the park there. Hello, did you enjoy your park walk? No, you didn't. Clobber. Right, one, two, three, boof, as I like to say. Boof, I love a mark with the word boof on it. However you're spelling that. Probably B-O-O-F exclamation mark. Boof, boof. Right, that's it, I've got... Good tactics, these are uh, 8-bit people. It happens in a few games. They just wander up very, very slowly uh, to get hit by some kind of croquet mallet. Right, into the lift, which isn't a lift. Parking. This is pretty much where we got last time. We got run over. But I seem to have two lives left down the bottom there. Re oh, one life now, represented there by that, that head. Oops. Right, that's him off the bike. So that's 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 useful. Where's Superman when you need him? 
Because we're in a car park, there's blue with a yellow stripe on, maybe they're delivering those blue, what are, they, what are those biscuits called with the blue and the yellow bit round? They're called blue ribbon biscuits. They still sell them? That might be a retro memory. They were, they were clubs. If you like a lot of biscuit, no, if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Or like a lot of biscuit on your chocolate, I suppose. It's the same sort of the thing. There's all different flavours. I'm not sure club's still going. Trio, of course. Trio, trio, I want a trio and I want one now. See, I, I, I digress quite a lot on this channel. Well, that's insanity for you. Um, you know, we've almost reviewed um, 800 Spectrum games, so um, let me off. And uh, in total, we've probably reviewed about two 2,000 stuff. And some people say, Nick, why haven't you got a million subscribers then? Well, I don't know. Maybe people don't like this sort of uh, tomfoolery. But anyway, we like it. And if you're if you're still watching this video uh, at this length of time, and you probably like it as well. Who cares all those other people? We're having fun, fun, fun to our daddy takes our T-bird away, as the Beach Boys said. Go, right, come on, they must be able to take him out. Who would win a fight, the Beach Boys or the Beastie Boys? No, let's make it more interesting. Who would win a beat em up fight like this, the Beach Boys or Mrs. War Boys out of um, that show One Foot in the Grave? Right, you might have to Google her. Mrs. War Boys. I think Mrs. War Boys could take all those Beach Boy dudes. Right. Um, I think I'm going the wrong way. It's not. It's not going to scroll right, is it? For a million, a million and one days, I need to go. I need to go left. Yeah, I, I lost. I've lost my. Um, I lost my bearings here. And the, and the game, because it's a multi-story car park, you just get out the lift and go left and right, left and right. I presume it's a multi-story car park. There's no cars in it. Perhaps it isn't. Uh, if I keep doing this, guys are going to keep coming up on the right. I think. Yeah. Get up, nincompoopin. Yeah, so they're just gonna, they're just going to keep turning up until I I disappear off the. Um, shall I keep attacking them just in case? Take that into the groin, you twit. Right, come on, is it going to scroll now? Right, we're scrolling into the car park past that lorry, the Hugh lorry of the piece. I don't know if it's been snowing in this car park. I've got. Is that my last life? No, I'm still okay. I thought I died completely. There's another croquet mallet there being wielded around. So the scenery is going to change as you go down to each level. I'm not quite sure how many different levels there will be. Probably about four. Where does it end? Maybe the Kingdom of Hades, perhaps. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to pick up the. Um, as, a, as a credit, I'll use the croquet mallet thing. When without getting hit at the same time, I'll try it. You meant to um, be over it and press fire button, I think. You can, uh, you probably know already. You probably can kick two people at the same time. Don't want them picking. There we go. Oh, see, look, and he's grabbed me from behind. But I've shoved him off. Pick up the ma a axe thing. Beam. Right, just one left. Right, okay. A little sound. He's dead, and another twit's wandered on. Kevin Keegan, is it? Right, we got only got 32 seconds. It's all that mucking about I did at the start. My energy's not looking great. You can see next to one P, that little red thing. Little red energy bar, baby, you're much too low. Well, it's pretty low, isn't it? Lower, lower than the world championship limbo dancer, and it's not getting any higher. Come on. Oops. Oh dear, just about, just about okay. I'm being crowded out here. Oh, punch in the nose. That's not, I ain't got too much defense against a punch in the nose. Oh, time up! You lose a life. Ugh. Ugh. Right, so it's, it's starting to look. We've, oh, we've got more time now. Six minute fifty-five. But it's starting to look a little bit grim in terms of how much strength we've got. We might get off this level. We might not. But you've pretty much seen all the gameplay that this Target Renegade has to offer, and indeed the mod, unless they put some amazing uh, end of level boss in there, which I doubt. I doubt they have. I've never completed Target Renegade. Trying to remember if I've done it with a poke on it. I might have done it with a poke on it, but I can't, certainly can't remember what happens at the end. You've got to put in. You've got to put in the time. You've got to put in the time. It's, it's doable with the with the one move all the way through. It really is. But you might get a little bit bored. Uh, great as the game might be. Right. That's one. So you don't get up. He's going to get up, isn't he? The twit. He's got up. Take that. Right now he's got down. Get down, as James Brown said, dun, 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 dun. and into the lift, which isn't the lift, and we've got stage three, cars are us, and the motorbikes are back. Right, okay, C, oh man, C, I'm not going to say C3, I was going to say C3 through graphics. Oh man, I've got a bloke fighting me, and a motorbike driving through at the same time, that's not fair. How am I supposed to take out both of them if we're on the same plane? Right, I'd like that, like that, you wally. Oops, there's no, there's no lives left down the bottom there, so this is the last one. 
Keep an eye on the red energy bar, see how far I get. I've already been, already been playing this game longer than I intended to. It's because I, I had two goes. That's the marker of a good game, that. Right, I don't know how you get into cars are us. Looks like they've left got a garage half open, but the door looks closed. Right, what's that place? Biker, bike, something with CL. Probably closed, isn't it? Right. Always the same guys coming on the screen each time, taking a, a piece out of you, which isn't very friendly. Du, 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 take that. And right, okay, now. So, you know, there's quite a lot of people on screen at the same time that are trying to attack you. It was the most of that four or five, wasn't it? Yeah, so the, the aesthetic spectrum is doing a lot here to move everyone around. It's doing it with great, great aplomb. Um, there's a lot of uh, elements of graphics there. But as reskins go, this is a really good job. Really good job. I'm looking forward to seeing what other ones Raphael did as well, uh, especially Outrun uh, Europa. Because I, although I try to like Outrun Europa, the monochrome of it really done my eyes in. With a bit of colour on it, it might look it might look a little bit better. So that'd be an interesting one to see. Do 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 do. Game over. Game over, dude. Yeah, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I might leave you with the music at, at the end, which you, you can have going through Nivok. I've got that wrong. You can have the music going through, but I turned it off in the game. So, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Target Renegade Reimagined, um, a mod by Raphael Miyazaka on ZSP 128K in 2015. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.